Hey, welcome back to my channel, Mommy Trainee. Um, I recently got uh, a bunch of stuff from Norwex at the end of August, and the order just came in this weekend, so I wanted to show you what I got. Uh, for those of you who has never heard of Norwex, uh, they're actually a company that uh, make a lot of um, household cleaning product, and they're very known for their microfiber. And their microfiber, uh, if you use them to clean you know, your house, it's basically cloth. Uh, if you use them to clean your house, you don't really need to use any cleaning solution or anything. You basically just need water. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got today. Let's get started. Okay, so I kind of broke it down into different uh, types of product that I've got. So let's start with something that's in the kitchen first. Um, this is the Enviro sponge. I've actually gotten two of these. You know, just in case, because, you know, one might not be enough. Uh, it comes with, in a set of two, so that's pretty good. I don't remember how much it is. I might not have pricing for you in this video. So what it is, is basically a sponge on one side and their Enviro cloth on the other side. Um, so it makes it very easy that you could, like, use the sponge to clean up certain things or maybe a little wet and then just go to the other side and just wipe and just lift everything up. Um... Actually, this is a set of two. One box has two, so I got four. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's been a while since I placed the order um, because, you know, just like anything else, the uh, shipping, I paid for the slowest shipping on earth. So by the time I actually got this, I don't really know exactly what I got. So <laughs> I got two sets of the Enviro sponge for the kitchen. And next thing, it's one of the things that I really, really like. This is one of the products that I, I mean, yeah, the Norwex is very well known for their microfiber. But for me, I really think that this is a very, very good product. And this is actually the dish, uh, the dish cloth. Is that what they call it? This is the dish cloth. And this is the color graphite. And it's a set of two that I got. What they are is they're just a netted cloth and you use this to wash dishes. For like Norwex, anything that's Norwex uh, microfiber, especially the ones that has back lock uh, labeled on it, you're not supposed to be using it to, you know, put soap in it because like soap or a lot of the cleaning products, if you wanted to use them, has a lot of fillers. So what happened is if a cloth is filled with the fillers, then it doesn't have any more room to actually clean the surface. Now, this is not a microfiber. This is like, I don't really know what this material is. And, you know, you could actually use any kind of like dish soap. You basically kind of sponge it up like a sponge and then you just wash everything. What I really like about this is that, one, it really like scrubs the dishes like quite well. So let's just say we eat a lot of like rice and pasta and sometimes, you know, if you don't soak the dishes in time, it could take a little while to really clean all the stuff that is all kicked in and dried up already, especially rice. This, once you kind of wet it a little bit, like a few seconds later, scrub it with like your normal dish soap, it scrubs everything right off. Or if you have any like baking dish that has stuff that it's like baked in, like cheese let's just say usually you would like to like soak it uh, uh you know for a very long period of time before you actually uh you know clean it but this cleans everything just kind of right out um another thing is that obviously all these like holes uh it helps to kind of like scrape stuff on your you know whatever dishes that you're trying to clean but then once stuff that's caught on here you rinse it down the faucet everything just comes off very very easily uh, one of the reason why I like cloth instead of sponge is that for sponges, sometimes like if you have one of these sponge, I just feel like it's just really rigid. Like you can't really, it's very hard to mold it to whatever shape that you wanted it to clean. But this, it goes into any single, like every corner, every little nooks and crannies because it's just so flexible. Uh, it dries super fast. Maybe a few minutes, like I hang it on top of the uh, the faucet for like a few minutes and then I just basically toss it on the side or sometimes hang it on like the uh, the cabinet door handles and that's about it. It doesn't like, it takes like 10, 15 minutes to really dry up, not completely, but like for the most part. So 
um, since it dries so fast, it doesn't really have a lot of room for all these mildews. Like it doesn't smell bad at all. Um, one other thing is that initially when you start using one, it might feel a little, actually, this is actually much better than the one that I had. The blue one that I have for like initially when I was using it, um, it doesn't actually feel so soft. This is actually quite soft. It, it, in the past, it, it actually feels like a very hard piece of paper, almost like cardboard like. So you kind of have to break it in a little bit. But this one, I could actually tell that it's pretty soft already. So like, this is actually going to be a, a pretty good, this is a pretty good product. I have, a, uh, I think, two blue ones. Uh, but I want to kind of have like certain color codes so that let's just say if I'm washing dishes that has like raw meat in it I could use one and then you know the rest of the dishes normal dishes I could use another color so that's what I wanted to do so I got a set of two and the set is actually uh, I think it's new um, kind of like every other companies out there every single year uh, Norwex somewhere in the summer they launch a bunch of uh, new products and the Enviro Sponge is one of them. Uh, although this dishcloth is not a new product, this color and the set of two is new. So, yep, got more. So the next product also is a new product. And obviously one of the reasons why <laughs> I got so much stuff is that I have a lot of new products that I want. And some of the older products that I have a need for right now. Um, so the next product is uh, the sink mat never seen this but this is basically um, you put it by the sink to kind of absorb anything like you could put stuff on it like as you wash certain things you could put stuff on it and you could uh, not make a wet mess next to your sink um, so it comes in a set of three so it has a bigger one and the the bottom of it has all these little um, I don't know what you call it like these dots like this plastic dots so that when you place it on the surface it's not gonna just move around and here's the second side which has a bit of a pattern on it and then this is the smaller it's the smallest side so it comes in a set of three uh, I haven't decided on exactly which sink I'm gonna use it on but I think I'm gonna use it in the bathroom though. I mean, in the kitchen, I usually have like a lot of stuff. I have uh, like bigger size uh, silicone mats that I could use to kind of make sure that, I, you know, water doesn't just go everywhere on my granite countertop. But I don't really have anything by the uh, the bathroom sinks. So that's that. So maybe, but I, I think most people use it in the kitchen though. I don't know. So the next product is, oh, this is heavy. I got a cutting board from Norwex. Now, they used to have, this is why it's so heavy. They used to, I used to have a smaller one. This one I think came out last year and I, I got one of those. It is made of uh, a natural rice husk. So basically when you use plastic, there are a lot of things that could be embedded into plastic as you cut into it and it's very hard to really clean everything but this rice husk quite honestly i've been using it for a year it's basically like new um initially when you use it you it, it does take a little getting used to because when you cut into it it it, it actually feels like and, and sounded like it's really really hard so it's it's always like very very loud um, but I don't see a lot of like nicks. Obviously there would be some, but it, there's not like a lot of nicks where, you know, just like when you're using plastic by now, one year later, you basically have to throw it away and just, you know, get another one. Uh, but it's not, there's not a lot of nicks, but this is a little small in my opinion. So when they got the new one, which is a bigger one, actually I wanted to kind of show you the size difference between the big and the small one it is much bigger <laughs> this is at least like two inches wider and taller than the old one um, plus I could actually use this to cut veggies and the other one to cut meat because usually meat you don't really cut a lot but veggies you'll be cutting it and cutting it and when you have like a napa you know cabbage it's gonna be like all over it like that small one is really too small for me 
um i usually like in the back has these um rubber or silicone kind of feet <laughs> i don't know what they call it so to keep it stable on the counter so what i did was with the old one other than using it as a cutting board um i also used it as a trivet so basically i just used this whole thing to cover the side of the um the side of the stove where i normally cook stuff and put like spoons and you know spatulas and stuff put it on top of here and then one when the oil splattered it goes on here it's easy to clean i don't have to clean my counter and two it basically it's my spoon rest and everything else <laughs> so i use it as a trivet so like when the hot pot of boiling water i have to pull it off the stove and put it somewhere i'll put it on here usually when i when i cook this is always on my counter so I am glad that they come up with a bigger one. I still have to kind of measure to see if it covers the side of the uh, the stove uh, completely, but I think it will. It, it looks like it's large enough. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go over this guy. This is a um, pack of body cloth. Body cloth, I do have to say, other than Enviro cloth, body cloth is one of the products that I just keep on buying and buying and buying uh different sometimes different color i usually like the vibrant color which has like a bright yellow a pink and a green um but this time i got a set of three that is i don't know what they call it gray or graphite maybe <laughs> but the 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 body cloth what i use it for is that every single time when we go out on the weekend both days i would wet a couple of these uh and put it into ziploc bags and whenever we go, you know, with my son to eat or to play or anything afterwards, I would use this to wipe his hands. Um, even when he is eating something really greasy, uh, you know, kids, they use their hands and then, you know, the, the grease goes all over their face everywhere, including forehead. Um, sometimes wipes just doesn't cut it. <laughs> you would have to use like at least 10 wipes to kind of remotely clean it to acceptable so that you could get to the bathroom to actually clean it but for the body cloth one cloth like um for a meal one cloth is good enough to clean his face his, like his whole face even it's if it's messy and greasy and both of his hands um so every single time when we go out to eat i make sure that i have this and if we are you know going out for like a day or so uh, I usually have at least two or maybe even three of these in the bag so that I could just, you know, in Ziploc bags so that I could just like pour some water or go to the bathroom, wet it, and then just, you know, wipe whatever that I need to wipe on him. <laughs> or sometimes me and my husband. Like, I'm I'm the type that, okay, yeah, if you're out in the park and you've been touching God knows what, you know, wipe your hands afterwards. Uh, if you go to the bathroom you know on your way out if you touches any doors i i am very skilled and i never touch any doorknobs so it's fine for me but for some rich people they might need it <laughs> or if you count money at the bank you know to deposit or, or you know withdraw at the atm afterwards i just basically take this out and just wipe my hands and i would feel comfortable with that so this is a set of three um, I've been needing a little bit more color because, you know, we've been using the same three colors and sometimes when you, you know, use a few every single, you know, every single day on the weekend or sometimes on the long weekend, you do need a little refreshing of colors <laughs> to kind of identify which is which. <laughs> so that's that. That's one of the, one of the most used product that I, that I like from Norwex. The dish, obviously the dishcloth and Enviro cloth and then the uh, the body cloth. Okay, so the next thing is, um, I have two Norwex mop. So this year I have the um, the yellow dry mop. I have the the blue wet mop. They all works pretty pretty good. But one of the things that I kind of noticed with the yellow dry mop is that when you have bigger debris, if you, you know, keep on pushing it and pushing it and, you know, doing the figure eight to uh, sweep your floor, if you have a lot of, let's just say hair, I, I have pretty long hair uh, and we don't have pets, but, you know, I basically shed, you know, all, you know, a lot of my hair to kind of be like a pet, like it's all over the bathroom floor, it's all over like the everything like the whole house i do find that with the yellow mop it is very it cleans and sweep 
fine particles really, really well. You could basically use one mop, clean the whole floor. Um, but for floors that has more debris, I find that it's easier to clean some of the larger debris, like vacuum it, uh, and then use the yellow mop to mop it. But this is supposed to actually have um, like longer, I don't know what they call it, fingers. <laughs> um, so that it grabs larger debris and not just the smaller ones. Now, once I use it, I'll know, you know, if I use this and afterwards, do I need, still need to use the, the yellow one? Or can I just mop the floor? I don't know, but I got two of these. These are the, um, they call it chenille microfiber with like the long finger. It's basically, if you know the uh, the Enviro wand, it has a sleeve. It's basically the, the exact same uh, material. And I don't know if it's new, but it sheds a little bit. My black pants is all green right now. Okay, that's that. <laughs> the next set of items, I bought it for my husband to clean his car. So let's go over what we need to clean his car. More chenille. This is a car mitten. So you basically just, you know, go figure eight with this and it kind of, the, the, the size of it, it's very similar to the, um, the, the shower mitten, the pink one. It's just that it's with these. I mean, I kind of think that maybe you could actually use this, you know, in the shower too. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is, you could use, like, wet this, wring it out, and then just go figure eight on the car. And uh, since it's so soft, it's not supposed to um, scratch your paint or anything. And the other side has, like, a very soft uh, microfiber on the other side. So you could kind of, like, I don't know, dry it a little bit. Although you should be using the car cloth to dry it. So I got two of these for him. And then another thing, I mean, obviously when you talk about cleaning anything, you have to have some Enviro cloth. Um, and this Enviro cloth, I specifically got the charcoal color for him so that we, when we clean the cloth, we would know that, okay, this is the charcoal color. It goes to the car. Um, you know, we color code certain things. Uh, you know, certain colors in the kitchen, certain colors are more like dirty stuff, like the blue ones are the ones that we just clean very dirty stuff with, <laughs> like mop the outside of rim of the door frame of our front door. Uh, after we mop it, it's like all black. <laughs> um, this is another mitten. Not sure what they call this. This is the car mitten which is basically a mitten you just put on, you know, clean the interior of the car. And then once this is all like dirty, you could flip it over and with a clean, you know, with a second clean surface and then you could flip it over again for a third clean surface. So one mitten would have three of these clean, you know, surface for you to like clean your interior. Hopefully by then, you know, hopefully your car's not that dirty by, you know, by the time you use up the third one, your car should be clean, right? If not, you might need to bring it to detail. <laughs> um, and then obviously for just dust, I got a green uh, dust mitten for him to use inside of his car. Uh, I think this is like pretty easy to use because you just basically use one, take it out and just like kind of rub it together so that it's statically charged. Um, in the house, I use blue uh, and I use two of them. So what I do is I just put two of them together and just, you know, rub it together. And then I just like have two mittens and just go, you know, clean everything. It's just super fast. Uh, but I think I just get him one to start with to see, you know, how he likes it. So we know that the blue ones are going to be for the house and the green one's going to be for the car. So that's that. Now that's all I got for this order. But obviously, just like everything, you know, every other companies that I buy all these things with, they have monthly uh, freebies if you hit a certain uh, sales amount. Um, and I think this is probably it because I did not order this. This is a, um, a windows cloth or sometimes they call it polishing cloth. Um, you use this one dry. So if you have, let's just say a window or like a mirror, what you do is you use one of the Enviro cloth, like something like this, clean it, wet it, clean all the surface. And then you use this dry to buff everything. And it is, it would leave you with like a streak free surface. 
Um, if you need to polish anything, same thing. Use this cloth. It's amazing. I don't really clean a lot of my windows, so <laughs> I do have quite a few windows cloth laying around that I haven't used. <laughs> uh, maybe I should use them more often. <laughs> um, and then this bag is probably, um, I think my purchase is $350, and that's the first level where you get some of the freebies. So I know that I have a few things that I wanted this month, and that's the reason why I purchased these uh, all these products this month. Um, it comes with yet another windows cloth. Might just give it away to somebody. Uh, it's a purple cloth. Now, this is one of the things that I want from, you know, purchasing from August. Uh, when you hit $350, um, uh, they, they call it subtitle, subtotal A sales, which my, my, my order did have. Um, it comes with a car cloth so initially I was like oh yeah I have to buy a car mitten and a car cloth for him but then when I saw that when if you purchase $350 worth of items uh, in August you get it you get one for free then I'm like okay let me just order something <laughs> um, so this is basically you, you when you clean your car the outside of your car you use the car mitten the green one to you know do you know wet it and then clean the surface and then you use this to kind of dry it you, you use this dry to dry it to pick, basically pick up all the debris and the water so it's streak free um i don't know how different it would be compared to the windows cloth but just putting it on my hand and feeling it i feel like this is actually softer than the windows cloth so because initially i'm like they look exactly the same to me but nobody actually said anything about using this to clean the car uh and usually with you know car paint and stuff you want to be very careful and the wax and stuff you want to be very careful so this is specifically for cleaning cars and i do have to say that this is actually softer than the uh, the windows cloth and here's another thing that i really really like um this is the the noex um fruit and veggie cloth and i only have one in the house that's why i wanted another one so this side of the cloth is like a, a scrubby side where you basically, if you clean a vegetable, like let's just say carrots, if you use this side to clean it, it could actually peel it for you. Or a uh, potato, it could clean it for it, like peel it for you if you want. Uh, for other stuff that you wanted to clean, let's just say, I would actually use this side to even clean my, um, the apple. If you use this to clean the apple, it, it would be like the surface would not have any of those wax or anything. Like it, it looks and feels super, super, super clean. Um, the other side, it's a softer side. I use this side to clean things like Asian pears. You know how you know thin their skin is. If you use the scrubby side to clean, um, you might want to make sure that you eat it right away because the surface of it would be a little scratched. Um, things like tomato, I would use this to clean. Um, I think even for like pepper, I use the, the scrubby side to clean. But this is actually very um, in the kitchen. And then the last one is basically just an extra green Enviro cloth. I usually use green Enviro cloth in like um, um, bathroom countertops. I don't actually use any of these cloth to, you know, clean the toilets. <laughs> but like bathroom countertops next to like the tub, usually I would use a green one to clean. So I, in my house, the, the color code is basically blue ones for like really dirty stuff like windows or by the door frames and stuff like that. Uh, this is for kitchen, I mean, uh, for bathroom countertops. Uh, in the kitchen, uh, around the kitchen, I actually, um, in the past, they have some, I don't know if it's limited edition, they have some aqua and salmon. I've been using that in the kitchen. Um, and then I don't really have any yellow ones, but I have pink ones. I used to have pink ones in the kitchen too. So, so that's all I have for the Noex order, it is quite a bit in terms, well, for me, it, it is quite a bit to be ordering like one big order like this, um, but I am sure these products will be put to good use. Um, if you need to know any, it, I actually use a lot of Noex products, not just these. Uh, I've been a Noex customer for at least two years, I wanna say, maybe even three. So if you have any questions on any of the Noex products or if you, um, you know, wanted me to guide you to, you know, how to 
get Nolex product, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will um, let you know. I will provide you with the information. Um, and again, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Mommy Training, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.